No, uh, uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech, but kindly stop digging. Fine. Have your surprise. You won't regret it. Want me to ask the others to back off? No, no, I can handle it. As long as they're not looking to be besties. And I'm happy that someone with the galaxy at their fingertips can still give a girl her space. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. You've only scratched the surface. You have no idea what all I can do. No, but I have an active imagination. I look forward to being educated. No more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Now, if you will, please leave me to my own devices. You know what we saw back there, right? This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do. It turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. I hope it doesn't come to that. But exaltation seems almost worse. If he has his way, there won't be anyone left to save. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy, and there are still despots. We saw similar types back when I worked as a peacekeeper. Pirates attacking the colonies. We trained the colonists, and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you and everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. So, Kalu, is that woman I keep seeing with on the Nexus? Why can't you just what? ask her yourself? Well, because. Because. It always sharp credits after we come back. Is it because Fine. of her? Actually, PB won't complicate things with me. PB knows I can't divulge patient information.
old orbit is steady. are still going smoothly without me to look at Hi, I'm Jen Garfman, founder of the initiative. Yeah, Welcome to the was difficult. We ask that you spend a few short minutes going through immigration processing, then we'll have you on your way.
have adapted to the Scourge's presence. Some even f Specimens! Scans! Our conservation effort can barely keep up. What a wonderful service you've done for us. You've certainly earned your fee. And its gas bladder can expand 300%. Hey, Hearing, how about you not dissect this? It's weird. Unlocking. Come on in. Ta-da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvi and Gil eyeball it, then fast track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the. Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Don't be so condescending, babe. This is PB's place, and you're trespassing. I'd say that warrants a little hostility. Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, wanna talk about it? Oh, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. Hey, I hope you know you can talk to me. Anytime. Aren't you a cutie? Thanks, Ryder. That's nice. I mean it. But really, the past is the past. I'm fine. I'll pack up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. 
Hadzir. This memory is when Alec first learned the initiative. It will be just a moment. Hello, Alec. I'm too old for cloak and dagger. I got your message. I'm here. Who are you? A benefactor, if you like. You have something to offer me? A future? That's vague. A future for your wife. You're out of money. Your contacts have dried up. You can't finish Sam. How do you know about... I can help you. Whatever you need. Start by telling me what you need. Your AI is more than a cure for your wife. It could also be the salvation for many others. I don't follow. Where we're going, we'll need a different perspective to understand things. Where's that? The Andromeda Galaxy? I have a proposal for you. And Ellen doesn't have much time. Are you interested? Who was that? The benefactor. I believe there was more to the Andromeda Initiative than was publicly understood. Private logs are now available in your father's quarters. They may shed further light on the matter. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's personal logs. I had a strange meeting yesterday. I thought it would be with Jien Garson who founded the initiative, but it wasn't. I guess Jien's the visionary, the one who gets everyone excited about the project and drums up publicity. But then this benefactor apparently provides resources and money. And I mean a lot of money. It's a little unusual. But everything about this project is. Interesting. I wonder if Director Tan knows anything about this. Worth talking to him. I accepted the initiative's offer. They're calling me a Pathfinder. <laughs> There's no other option left. Sam will never happen without their help. Our savings are gone, and no one will return my calls. I am a pariah. There's something strange going on with this benefactor. But Ellen's getting worse. I can't fail her. from the people of the Milky Way. Congratulations are in order. Peaceful contact with the Angara. It's everything the initiative stands for. It was amazing. A culture we'd never met before, in a brand new galaxy. I was just glad to be part of it. It's a moment to savor. 
In the Milky Way, first contact was a rare event. I hope rescuing the Moshe leads to stronger ties between our people. Did you have some other business? I'm curious. What do you know about the people who backed the initiative? What everyone knows. Gian Carson was the founder and visionary. Unfortunately, she died on the Nexus during the Scourge disaster. Is there anyone else? I would almost welcome them. A voice to silence the rabble. Then Kesh might listen. But no, we're alone. Why do you ask? <laughs> no reason. Guess I was hoping the cavalry was on the way. Yes. If only she'd left. No, Gian Carson was the beacon. A sad end to someone of such stature. Dying alone. Oh? It was chaos. By the time they found her, she was already dead. Succumbed to her injuries. Was there a follow-up investigation? I wasn't even out of stasis. But knowing the violence of the Scourge disaster, death was everywhere. If you're suggesting something else happened, Ryder, I'd rather you didn't. Let's not add to the confusion. Thank you for your time. Ryder. If you wish to pursue this further, accessing the Okay, what are we looking for, Sam? Huh. The only hard fact is that her body was found in one of the apartments. Then connecting her death to the Scourge disaster was mere speculation. Yeah, they just wanted this to go away. I think we need to check out that apartment. Environmental data will allow us to reconstruct the scene. This is where Jean Garson's body was discovered. What are we looking for? If you scan the room, environmental data may allow for scene recreation. There. This was no accident. She was murdered. As this incident occurred over a year ago, her killer is likely far away by now. Yeah. But... Wait. This whole area was shuttered back then. Didn't open till the Hyperion arrived. So what was Garson even doing here? Perhaps a further scan of the room is in order. What do we have here? This 
is Gian Garson. I don't have much time. I've been hiding in the sealed off sections of the Nexus since we got here. Someone's trying to kill me. And now I can hear them down in the hydroponics area. They're coming. I've embedded what I know in my VI in the cultural center. This log has the code. And whatever happens... Oh god, they're outside the door. Wow, this is some serious shit. Yes, deeply troubling. I have the code she mentioned for the VI kiosk. Sam, can we hear that message Garson talked about? Unlocking it now. Rerouting to our private channel. For years, there was a silent partner involved with the initiative. The truth is, I was running out of money. Then a benefactor stepped in. I didn't ask questions. I never met them face to face. That was a mistake. I lied to everyone. Something big spooked them in the Milky Way, and now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for the good, but I have my doubts. And now I think they're going to remove me. Alec Ryder and I had a code word for this. Bulcrum. He may have learned more. What's that mean? Something big in the Milky Way. Perhaps your father's locked memories hold the answer. He might have known more. Yeah? Because I'll have to keep unlocking them to find out for sure. Of your homeworld, Pathfinder, thank you for arranging my access to the Cultural Center. Mm, there's so much to study here. <laughs> uh, it would take a lifetime. I'd enjoy that. All the reading. History, science, culture. Get some snacks, settle into that corner over there. No offense, but I'm starting with the Asari. Oh, sure. But when you get to Elcor Hamlet, I want to know. Vetro was looking for you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Wait, Lexi. Your dad was Turian? That explains so much. What's that supposed to mean? Here we go. You know, how uptight you are. I am not uptight. Not even 300 years old and fussing at us like a matriarch. I'm a doctor. Fussing's part of the job. Now, oh, exaltation. The cat just keep asking for more trouble. Really looking forward to kicking those guys in the teeth. Get us there. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Scott. 
I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was, well, her age now. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. We're a team. I'll make sure you're always there for Sid. Thank you, Ryder. That means a lot to me. At least Sid's older now. Maybe I don't have to worry as much. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, do you think you'll have kids? Where the heck's that coming from? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while you and Sam were cheating at poker. She's starting the Initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it... We're basically here to spawn. Took you this long to figure that out? I told you. I didn't really think this thing through. But nothing we do here really matters unless we survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Oosh. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. So, you want to have a child of your own? I... I don't know. That's never been a thing for me. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gut moved on before I was born. I had no idea. That must have been hard. Hey, I turned out alright. He did his part. Brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. <laughs>